All right. So this is the demo. Uh, so this is a small demo that we have created for you. So in this demo, what we have is uh, a particular healthcare uh, healthcare portal where a health uh, where a patient has come in and the patient is going to provide certain information about uh, himself uh, and uh, what to which doctor he wants to consult to. So for example, he wants to consult to Doctor Jack Rogers. Uh, the subject is uh, high fever and cold. I was already trying it, so yeah, I will use that description. I have high fever and sore throat. I would like to review my report, and we can uh, and uh, consult me on the same. So he has provided a description, and he is going to upload a document, the lab report itself only. So I am adding a lab report, and as soon as I click on it, a case has been created, uh, which we can see over here. Yeah, this case has been created, uh, 9:22 p.m. Yeah, that is the correct one, and we can see all the information over here. So for the sake of this demo, what we have assumed is uh, like uh, there are two different environments. One is the org where we are logging a case, and then there are different org where we are actually maintaining the health uh, health where we uh, have health cloud and we are managing all the health cloud related data and the patient data and their cases and their queries. Uh, so we have a different org. So this org is different one, and I will be going to a different org, which is this one. And if I come over here and if I refresh it you can see there is a new record which has been created and if i click on it we can see the information about okay what's the subject what's the description the document that we have created is also visible over here the pdf file uh, the lab report it's visible if you can remove me from the screen then the people would be able to see it yeah so this attachment is here uh, and uh, we have also integrated the capability of you know summarizing the report so we are using uh, chat gpt to summarize the report we have provided it to chat gpt from mulesoft itself only it is summarizing it for us and then giving us this response so this is a sample report but it is giving us this response like you know uh, like it is fine and this is essential for effective body overall uh, the results are reassuring showing no abnormalities and cause for concern so this report is being generated for us now if i come back and let's say if i want to book an appointment with dr samir sewani so I will simply click on it. Uh, it will open up a Calendly for me. I will uh, Google killed Calendly. Yes, that is true. By the way, yeah. So I will be choosing a time slot, and then I will be providing the details. Uh, let's call it. Uh, test dot com. Yeah. I will schedule an event. Now it will ask me for payment because I am consulting to a doctor. I need to give payment. So on the next screen, I am providing payment information. And as soon as I click on pay, as soon as I click on pay, the payment is done. And if I come over here and if I see the Calendly, yeah. So the action, uh, a new Calendly meeting has been created uh, for, you know, 5.30 a.m. So that's basically a time conversion thing. And the payment is also stored over here. The payment information is also stored, the payment which has happened. So we can see how it is all coming together and how it's all connected. Now, how it all came together is we will be looking at Anypoint Studio. So over here, I created that complete integration scenarios. So we created a case create. So as soon as a new record is created, we are taking that record, querying it. We are creating a new record in a different org as I, uh, as I show you. Uh, we, d we did that. And then we are also creating the same records in Snowflake as well for data uh, warehousing purposes. Then we are uh, utilizing the Calendly, you know, creation as well. And this is the integration for OpenAI, where we are querying OpenAI and, uh, you know, gen having that report summary generated for us. So all of that data is being generated, and we can see that. Uh, yeah. 
so if i come to the snowflake we can see all of this information here as well so vj test has been created as we just created and then uh, case data again i am having so i would like to review my report and consult so all of this data is being created over here as well and here as well the data has been created with the you know uh, payment related information so we have all of that information available to us and we can simply utilize that so any point studio allowed us to do all of that we have a lot of other capabilities as well we have a lot of connectors that we're utilizing in this uh, like salesforce connectors snowflake stripe zoom connector so we have different different connectors that we can utilize that we can involve and uh, integrate and accordingly use them